Good afternoon, mathematics lovers. So without a doubt, yes, I can say all of you are lovers of mathematics because Max is a magical glue which is binding each of us as a family and we are so happily gathered here and we all know what is the special occasion so first of all let me welcome everybody here in one word because it's it's such a it's such a happy moment for each of us today we are celebrating the 135th birth anniversary of great indian mathematician srinivas ramanujan and this is the national mathematics day a day which is very important for a person who has a special place for mathematics in their life in his or her life so we know that no thief however skillful can rob one of knowledge and that is why knowledge is the best so to attain knowledge add things every day recently an ordinary college associate professor had become a news in national and regional newspapers and turned into an extraordinary by just following this simple principle adding knowledge every day so from 2017 onwards he is consistently adding knowledge to the max community through his initiative max aspirants so the person i'm talking about here is uh, our dear vinod sir dr vinod kumar sir uh, he is an associate professor of tmg college sirur kerala I know him personally uh, from 2017, therefore I know how hard he had been working all these years to build the pillars of Matt's aspirant, not only strong but also beautiful. And there is one more reason to be happy today. Um, this journey started in December 2017 and we have now reached December 2022, which means successful five years. I can uh, say without any doubt, it is a successful journey because this seventh webinar is a proof, a solid proof. So I admire his efforts personally, and I know most of you already know him very well. So Maths Ecstasy, an online ODC through mathematics is a webinar series organized by Maths Aspirants Groups. It is a wonderful initiative by Dr. Vinod Kumar sir. And today we are having the seventh national webinar, a couple of gems from Ramanujan's garden by Professor Dr. Kalyan Chakrabarti, Director of Kerala School of Mathematics, Kurikoda, Kerala. Uh, we are really, really glad that uh, we have some special guests too, our Krishna Kumar sir, Vijay Kumar sir. And um, there is nothing that could make this moment more happy and this is this is a precious opportunity for us to know about ramanujan authentically once again i would like to welcome our honorable uh, kalyan chakrabarti sir uh krishna kumar sir dr krishna kumar sir dr vijay kumar sir and um, vinod sir vijamon sir and everybody who is um, in the organizing team and everybody who is participating with a heart full of love and respect, now I would like to invite Dr. Vinod Kumar sir to share his insights. Good evening, everyone. Happy National Mathematics Day. As all of us know, today is the 135th birth anniversary of the great Indian mathematical genius, Sri Srinivasa Ramanujan. As a part of the ongoing webinar series, Math Ecstasy, an online odyssey through mathematics, initiated by Maths Aspirants Groups, Today, we have the seventh national webinar. I feel very happy and proud to say that we have the most right person to speak on the life and mathematical contributions of Sri Srinivasa Ramanujan. I would like to thank Professor Sandeep of TAFR Bangalore for suggesting me, Professor Kalyan, as today's resource person, and to Professor V. Krishna Kumar of Kerala School of Mathematics uh, in helping me to connect with Professor Kalyan. We are grateful to you, Kalyan sir, for being with us on this auspicious day. 
ഐ ആം ഇൻഡെബ്റ്റഡ് ടു ഓൾ മൈ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽ വിഷേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ദിയർ സപ്പോർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദ ജേണി ഓഫ് മാത്സ് ആസ്പിരൻസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ഐ ആം വെരി ഹാപ്പി ടു സി മൈ ബിലൗഡ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് പ്രൊഫസർ എം എസ് ബാലസുബ്രഹ്മണി സാർ പ്രൊഫസർ വി കൃഷ്ണകുമാർ സാർ പ്രൊഫസർ അംബാട്ട് വിജയകുമാർ സാർ ആൻഡ് പ്രൊഫസർ പ്രീതി മിസ് ഹിയർ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു എക്സ്പ്രസ് മൈ ഡീപ് താങ്ക്സ് ആൻഡ് ലവ് ടു ഓൾ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ഓർഗനൈസിംഗ് ടീം ഫോർ ദിയർ ഹെൽപ്സ് ആൻഡ് സപ്പോർട്ട് ഇൻ ഓർഗനൈസിംഗ് ദിസ് വെബിനാർ ഹോപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ടുഡേ സെഷൻ വിൽ ഷെഡ് ന്യൂ ലൈറ്റ്സ് ടു ദ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ശ്രീ ശ്രീനിവാസ രാമാനുജൻ ഐ വെൽക്കം എവറി വൺ ടു ദിസ് ഇവൻറ്റ് താങ്ക് യു Thank you so much, Vinod sir. It was really nice to hear from you. So, uh, after getting connected to Maths Aspirants, Dr. Bijumon sir's name is the name which is coming to my mind whenever I think about any technical side of a program. Dr. Bijumon uh, sir, he is an associate professor of mathematics, MG College, Iriti, Kerala. He is like a backbone in, to this family. His services are truly priceless. I really like to mention him. Uh, I know this is a, we have a busy schedule for this program. And also I would like to mention uh, Ms. Gia Rose Johnson, Research Fellow IIT Madras, Ms. Anne Mary Tony, Research Fellow Kusat Kerala, Ms. Kajal Sasdeva, Research Fellow um, MD University, Rotak Haryana, and Ms. Unnati Shukla, Ms. MTech student, IIT Dhanbad. in the team who are doing their part with dedication and enthusiasm even though they are they are behind the curtain they are doing so great so okay it's time to hand over the mic to our chief guest mathematician director of ksom and star of the day professor dr kalyan chakravarti sir in one word we are all so lucky to have this wonderful person here uh, but we have two more wonderful persons um, krishna kumar sir and vijay kumar sir so i would like to call uh, vijay kumar sir uh, to share his insights with us before the talk uh, hello thank you very much um, i have been associating with uh, vinod kumar's uh, this project uh, for several years and i'm happy that uh, even at 730 there are about 190 participants attending this talk from all over uh, india so that shows that the project is uh, quite successful and uh, i wish you all a merry christmas and happy new year 2023 and hope that we will have more academic interactions thank you Thank you so much Vijay Kumar sir uh, and Krishna Kumar sir also uh, they both are uh, giving so much guidance support and even caring for this max community to grow um, it is truly priceless now i would like to welcome our dear Krishna Kumar sir to give a very crisp introduction for our chief guest uh, Dr Kalyan Chakravarti sir it is a very pleasant evening and uh, on the national mathematics day and uh, all of us are joining together for a wonderful program tonight with uh, professor kalyan chakravarti who is currently the director of the kerala school of mathematics to give the uh, keynote address and you know his the topic he has selected is extremely enchanting and that itself tells a lot and it is connected to some works of uh the eminent jabanaj well i have my job is to introduce uh, dr chakravarti he has been my colleague for the past 3 years or nearly 3 years at uh, uh, Kerala School of Mathematics he is the director of the institute and uh, let me briefly tell you what uh, his achievements are he is a dfil from hri then he has been postdoctoral fellow at uh, imsc and queens university in canada and he is he has been professor at hri and recently 
he is the director of the Kerala School of Mathematics. The areas of his interest are algebraic number theory, special functions, and cryptology. He has published about 80 journal, he has about 80 journal publications in the Twitter journals. Sir, I have a question. And proceedings publications. Uh, he has visited several, he has been visiting professor to several universities in Europe, China, and Japan for various periods. Eight students have taken PhD with him, and now currently four people, are, four students are working with him for a PhD. And he's mentored to some postdoctoral fellows also. And he has been referred to the AMS publications. And apart from that, I want to say a few words about him. He has enormous energy, as it is clear that maybe this is the fourth lecture or so that he is giving in connection with the National Day of Celebrations uh, on 22nd, that is today. And uh, another aspect is that ever since he joined uh, Kerala School of Mathematics, he has taken it into a fast working mode. And a lot of activities are happening there. And three, three or four conferences happen uh, every uh, every year and then uh, you know the students are trained for the uh, unique phd uh, integrated msc phd program now uh, it is in it has been linked to several major institutes like the imsc or cms and uh, other institutions and uh, he's, I have been fascinated to watch him to uh, do his, go about doing the job and carrying this institute from, from its uh, passive level to a very, very active institution. Now it is, I think, very well known all over India and abroad. So with these few words, I don't want to stand in the way and I would like uh, to listen to him rather than myself talking. Anyway, it's a proud privilege for me to introduce you today. Thank you very much. Uh, before that, let me uh, sincerely yes, thank Krishnama, yes. sir. And um, uh, it's really such a blessing that we have Krishnama, sir, and Vijay Kumar, sir, here with us. Uh, it's, it's truly inspiring. <laughs> and uh, Kalyan Chakrabarti, sir, uh, you can really start the presentation. If yeah, let me first you. make sure that the slide is visible. That's, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm very happy to and privileged to be here today uh, to give a talk on this uh, you know, National Mathematics Day. And I congratulate Dr. Vinod Kumar for the achievement that uh, he has starting from 2017 uh, you know, uh, he has uh, really brought this math aspirants group to not only in India, I can see people from abroad also are joining this program. And, uh, you know, uh, as, as has been recognized by nationally now that this group is going to grow and uh, will really play an important role in shaping up the mathematics picture in India. So thank you, sir, for uh, extending your invitation to talk on this a uh, special day of National Mathematics Day. So I'm really grateful to you. And then, you know, uh, we have Professor Vijay Kumar Ambath here, and, uh, you know, I have spoken before him, I mean, in front of him before that, but still it's a privilege that, sir, you were there. And of course, getting those nice words from uh, Professor Krishna Kumar, whom I know for a long time, even though a uh, little more than two years that I'm working with him here, and uh, getting those nice words from him is really encouraging. Thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, all the other uh, members of the aspirant group who is behind this, uh, this forum and, uh, you know, working uh, to make it a big success. Thanks to all of them for coordinating this and all other teachers and, uh, you know, all other participants for coming to this lecture. So let me begin. And uh, the title of my talk today is uh, Ramanujan's Garden, a couple of gems from Ramanujan's Garden. So here, 
uh, you know, by Ramanujan's garden, I mean uh, uh, the garden of his, you know, star-studded uh, mathematical garden. And uh, it's not a trivial task to really pick up a few gems, a uh, few pearls from, uh, from that garden. And I tried to do it. But before that, you know, I do feel that uh, without knowing his life, his life is also as, you know, as extraordinary as his mathematics. So if you don't look at his life and just look at his mathematical, uh, you know, uh, uh, achievements, it might be, you know, half filled. So I have tried, I have divided my lecture in two parts. Uh, the first part, I would like to uh, make a journey through his uh, life. And while going through his life, of course, there will be a fair sprinkling of mathematics also. And in the second half, I will look into. So I was telling that, you know, uh, the title of the first part where I talk about uh, Ramanujan's life is the man who knew infinity. And here I would like to, uh, I put this title here because, uh, you know, I am, I don't know how many of you have seen this movie, The Man Who Knew Infinity. And uh, here in this movie, even if that is a dramatized version, but, uh, you know, uh, the one of the producer was Professor Ken Ono. And so they have kept the mathematical part intact there. And so I request uh, in a suggestion to all the students, if you have not watched the movie, to watch this movie. And I'll come uh, about this movie while going through his life, a couple of uh, incidents that I will like to, uh, ex uh, you know, put in front of you. So let's go ahead. This is the picture of Ramanujan, the most popular picture that you see uh, in uh, everywhere. So this is a picture from his passport when he applied uh, for, for, for visa to go to London to work with uh, Professor Hardy. He was born in 1887, uh, he wrote, and uh, his father's name was K. Srinivasa Ayengar. Ayengar. And, and I don't know, some don't echo, know, some is, echo coming. is coming. So maybe, yeah, now it's okay. Maybe people should can mute themselves. Because if your mic is on, yeah, so let me continue. Uh, and uh, he was a clerk in a sari shop. And his mother's name was Komalatmal. She was basically a housewife. And she used to sing occasionally to the nearby Sarangapani temple. And uh, I'm going to talk about that. The temple played a major role in Ramanujan's life. And the picture you see here, is Ramanujan's house in Kumbakonam. So he was born at Erode, but after that, uh, they moved to Kumbakonam because their parents were working there. And uh, mm, uh, this house is renovated and it is maintained by Shastra University now. And uh, if you go uh, uh, to Kumbakonam, uh, you certainly, you must visit this place. And this place, if you go there, I've gone many times, and you feel that inspiration. There's a bust of Ramanujan here. This uh, uh, this rack full of Ramanujan's, uh, you know, the the the, the uh, journals, the work of Ramanujan, and these pillars are kept as it is. And this is the kitchen. And I'll show another picture of the frontal view of the house, where you will see the place where Ramanujan used to sit and work. By the way, here I want to point out that you know Ramanujan also had three brothers but all of them died before they really grew up. And uh, that was the time in the beginning of the 1900 when this smallpox was creating havoc in India and uh, Ramanujan survived that one. It was a very uh, modest family. Life was difficult to carry on with this paltry salary that his father was getting. So he was admitted to a primary school. I didn't mention the name of the school here because that was not very uh, in, uh, significant. He was pretty young. And then his high school, he was admitted to this particular school, town school. You can see the picture here. And uh, if you certainly go to Kumbakonam, you will be visiting this school. And uh, this school is almost like a museum. All the, uh, he was a very, uh, he was an outstanding student. 
He won many, many uh, academic awards, laurels. They have kept all those things. And every class you go, you will see some work of Ramanujan has been there. So it's a must visit for all of us, not only in mathematics, in science, uh, people are there. And uh, so his school study was over and uh, he did very well in the other subjects also, not only in mathematics. And he was awarded a scholarship for showing excellence in mathematics to go to college. So before I go to college, I want to mention uh, to all of you this particular thing. Many, many things are being written about Ramanujan, how his you know, questions in the class and all. So those were all very, very uh, you know, intelligent questions. And, but I want to point out that at the age of 13, he was, his exploration was going on from then onwards. And he was trying on his own, trying to do formulas, trying to develop new mathematics from then onwards. So at the age of 13, he discovered almost all the identities of trigonometric functions. And, uh, you know, uh, later when he came to know that these things are already uh, been uh, is there for some time. And as like any researcher, uh, you know, all of us know that if we do some work, and we find out that this has already been done someone by someone, we feel sad. And Ramanujan also felt sad about that, knowing that these things are already been there for some time. So this is, this is an important uh, moment in Ramanujan's life. At the age of 15 in 1903, he received a copy, one of his well wishers gave him the copy of this, this book. It's a library loaned copy. You can see that there is a stamp of the library and uh, it is a book it's called its name is a synopsis of elementary results in pure mathematics it's by ob Carr. why this is important because you know ramanujan was not addicted to mathematics till then this book when he got this book this book is quite unique in the sense that it contains about more than six thousand theorems this book, if it is not there in a library, should be there in the library. And uh, uh, six, more than 6,000 theorems systematically and scientifically arranged. And many times with, uh, you know, the proofs also are there. But why I'm mentioning this book? Because, uh, you know, this book ignited Ramanujan's passion for mathematics. And this book was the major source for him, reference. Like, you know, as you have seen that when he developed those trigonometric identities, later he found out that this was already been done. So this book used to be a reference for him, whether certain results are already known or not known, and then any kind of reference. So this, this, this part I wanted to really point out that this particular book, which was gifted by one of his uh, well-wisher, played a major role in his way of writing and for his references. So he used to write like this, and there might be some very younger uh, people here in the audience. So we all know these formulas, and you can see this A minus B, A minus B, A minus B. So uh, this formula. So he used to note down his findings like this, one by one, into his notebooks. This slide was just to show that pattern to you. So let's go back to the story again. That he got a scholarship to study in uh, in college, and those days it was called FA degree, Fellow of Arts. So he got admission to government's art, uh, government arts college in Kumbakonam. But as I told you, the book was already with him and he got addicted in mathematics. That's the right word to say that addiction. And he could not find time or could unable to do any other things other than mathematics. And the eventuality, as we expect, that he failed in most of the subjects other than mathematics and he lost the scholarship in the process. So the scholarship, that small amount, whatever whatever he was getting was supporting in some sense, the family also. So they were in dire straits. Uh, and uh, what happened after that, he ran away from Kumbakonam. Uh, and uh, then he was for a month roaming around in Madras, showing people that mathematical things that he developed with his notebooks going from place to place to get a chance to get admission into some other college. And then some, he met some well-wisher. There are lots of stories there, not going into that one. So he got admission to Pachiappas College in Madras. 
and in fact behind this college his body uh, his body is uh, buried in fact so he passed in mathematics in pachiappas college but interestingly he attempted only those questions which was of interest to him not the other questions he didn't even try the other questions and he failed again to all other subjects he gave once more and he flunked again so twice he failed in uh, this uh, this his getting his fa degree and he had to leave the college without uh, the degree he stayed put in uh, in in triplicen somewhere and uh, you know uh, there are many many uh, many many incidents which people uh, say that when the friends the well wishers used to go to visit him it was in uh, very acute poverty and brink of starvation and people would find him sitting in between heaps of papers papers writing full of formulas trying to prove certain things and uh, you know sometimes the paper buying paper money is also not there so he would write it on a slate and in fact just for your information the slate was later auctioned and our friend professor bush burn is the proud owner of that slate and you know i have touched that slate and you feel really something you know the person uh, used that one to really he did not have papers to write so this slate was used and uh, this is uh, it's not a very sequential uh, uh, data that i'm giving you there might be here and there things not really following uh, the years etc so this is the notebooks of ramanujan uh, that is preserved in the university of uh, library of madras university and you can see that you know these formulas one by one and most of them are without any proofs so he was kind of living in an academic desert one would have to say he was going on from places to places meeting people trying to show them that what he is doing and uh, there was nobody to comprehend what he was doing and uh, i mean uh, forget about mentors people were even thought that he is not a normal person like a crazy person some of the things that he wrote or he claimed so he was desperate that was the desperation uh, it it it, it uh, you know that period was real desperation for him acute poverty almost in a starvation there was no money to even buy papers he was going on door to door showing uh, his results and nobody could comprehend so some of his well wishers uh, advised him that why not write to some distinguished mathematicians in england he did that letter means you know a letter and then his mathematical formulas which he thought that are the most interesting ones but most people did not respond then the breakthrough came uh, on january 16 1913 he wrote to hardy and that is history as all all of us know that you know uh, then uh, actually the mathematical uh, career i would have to say started for uh, for ramanujan i'll come to that but here is the letter of ramanujan it's not the first letter it is on 1918 i just found it and i thought that you know uh, the the sambodhan you know the the first part dear mr hardy and then his signature here at the end uh, kind of thrills me so i have put this one as you can see lots of formulas the letter contains and most of his letters were like that so this is his first letter to to hardy this is a very well known thing but you know it feels like reading it again and again so this is a picture of hardy and uh, he writes the letter begins with that this is a famous letter of ramanujan the first letter that he wrote to hardy i beg to introduce myself to you as a clerk he has already got a job in madras port trust with a paltry amount of money which has helped him a little bit to succumb went his uh, poverty i have not trodden through the conventional regular courses i have no university education but i am striking out a new path for myself and the results i get a turn by the local mathematicians as startling that was the beginning of the letter it goes up to 7 to 8 pages math formulas but he wrote something that made people think he was crazy what was that this is this summation 1 plus 2 plus 3 goes on is equal to minus 1 by 12 well this is some of positive integers 
it's not infinity not even a positive number it is a negative fraction well those of us know uh, uh, riemann zeta function we know that this is the value of this riemann so called riemann zeta function at minus 1 and those of us don't know analytic number theory would find this one shocking well for the students here this is a question that has asked at many many places that how how can it be so this is not the usual convergence that one has to understand these are some sums they are called cesario sums and uh, they come up uh, in analytic number theory there is a way to do these sums like you take the partial sums take the average mean of them and you tend your n to infinity so that is uh, a different uh, ball game but here what you can do i can suggest something to the students that you know you take that sum 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 go ahead and that is equal to half that's equal to half how let's call that sum uh, which i told you a1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 as a now you write 1 minus a so 1 minus that particular thing 1 minus 1 plus 1 1 1 gets cancelled the minus makes the first one is plus you get back a again so 1 minus a is equal to a so 2a equals to 1 so a equals to half well that's the answer of that particular uh, sum that i gave you similarly you can prove 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 go ahead it's equal to 1 over 4 use these two sums to derive this one well i leave it for an exercise to you and uh, but if you don't know analytic number theory or uh, don't know where it has been used what kind of convergence is used then you will find it shocking and uh, that's what most people thought that he's crazy but hardy was an is an uh, was an analytic number theorist so he recognized immediately the brilliance in connection to the work of riemann because riemann had uh, defined by then his famous function and uh, but uh, you know ramanujan was not aware of that one so ramanujan finally found someone who understood him that was the breaking of ice sort of thing that you can okay so let's go ahead so this part is simple but what was more interesting uh, you know ramanujan ended with a problem in the letter which is uh, called as rogers ramanujan uh, continued fraction and the problem is this r of q instead of one now you have a q a number if you put q equals to one it was the previous question which was simple by just doing some trick you could do it but uh, then this one becomes far more non-trivial very difficult and what ramanujan claimed that he was looking for a reasonable answer in the sense that what are the values of q that would give a nice answer to this and look at the claim that he has he claims that he can evaluate r of e power minus pi square root of n all of us would first think that you know put two three four five etc and try to evaluate this uh, continued fraction but he's he's fine with exponential function e to the power minus pi square root of n and for any positive rational n he claimed that to hardy and to justify his claim he gave this as an example that you take n equals to 4 take the positive square root that becomes minus 2 pi and you have this beautiful uh, answer for that r of e power minus 2 pi is e to the power 2 pi over 5 plus this number into this particular number and this number many of you may recognize it's what is called the golden ratio minus 1 plus square root of minus 5 by 2 it's an algebraic integer it satisfies a monic irreducible polynomial with integer coefficients it's a unit there's the inverse of this so all these things you know uh, this beautiful expression that ramanujan gave to hardy and he claimed for any positive rational n he can evaluate this he has a way to do it and hardy thought the claim is simply out of the world and you know hardy first thought that it was a hoax played by his dear friend Lidlut, uh, to him that you know there is no person like ramanujan and uh, you know these things are not possible for any human being at that time to really give an answer like that a claim but then you know little convinced him to really call ramanujan 
to University of Cambridge and see him uh, and uh, really try to see if these things are correct. And uh, Hardy invites him to Cambridge. And this is this is the this is Hardy's take on this particular claim. I read that one. This is the temple that I was talking about, Sarangapani Temple, and uh, and uh, Ramanujan uh, was spending a lot of time. He was highly religious, and he used to spend most of his time in the nearby this temple. This is a Vishnu temple, listening to the drums of the temple and doing mathematics. And if you go to the temple, I have been there, and you go up the deity there uh, in the in the rooftop, and you will see the wall full of numbers. And uh, so the temple allowed Ramanujan to even think about mathematics in the temple. And I tried to look for that famous taxi cab number 1729. I couldn't get it because it's full of numbers, but you might be able to get it. So go and visit this temple too. It's really a place where Ramanujan had spent a lot of time. And the marriage I want to talk about, it's also an important event in Ramanujan's life. He was 21 and she was barely 10, Janaki Ammal. In 1909, and uh, she had to stay two years in uh, in uh, her parents' house to become 12, and uh, then uh, Ramanujan could manage a job, as I was telling you, in Madras Port Trust, with a meager salary, and he called uh, Janaki along with Ramanujan's mother to Madras, and you know, uh, if you have not watched the movie. Uh, you have to, I have to really tell you one incident. Uh, that movie, uh, Ramanujan is working on his stool with the papers. Uh, she enters and uh, she asks, what are you doing? He said, I'm doing my work. She comes closer and uh, says that I can only see colors, nothing else. Then he says that you have to uh, uh, go deep to really look into these things, to understand that. Then she asks, do anybody understand? He thinks a bit and says, no. What good for that then? Then he said, he becomes, becomes sad and says that maybe not today, but someday people will understand what I'm doing. And today we do understand that. So as I told you, Hardy called him. And in 1914, he got the chance. But those days, as I told you, it was he was a very uh, you know, orthodox from an orthodox family. Going abroad was not permitted in the sense that if you cross the sea, then you will lose your religion and you will not be able to come back to your family again. So that was a complex problem which Ramanujan had and he solved in this way. After praying to his family deity, Namagiri Thaya, this is the picture here, he declared that she has blessed the overseas trip and the problem was solved. Janaki was then 15. She wanted to go with Ramanujan. And Ramanujan declined, thinking that maybe she's not old enough to go along with him to a, a you know, country which he doesn't know much. A decision he regretted later. I'll tell why. Yeah, so Hardy and Ramanujan. Ramanujan is now in London uh, and in, 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 uh, in Trinity College, University of Cambridge. Ramanujan and Hardy, and Hardy was a uh, true mathematician. And here you have one person who is a genius, but untrained mathematician. So he was very reluctant, as I told you, writing down the proofs, because he said that, you know, for him, things are simple. But then Hardy used to convince him that, you know, unless you write down, you become a step-by-step -step method, the world is not going to recognize your work, and then it will be all lost. So in the movie, there was a scene where there's a heated exchanges between Ramanujan and Hadi. At some point, Ramanujan says that, you know, what kind of a person you are? You have no photo of your wife, your children. You don't have anybody. Don't you think that my wife is waiting there? I need to complete the things quickly and go back there. So Hadi says that, you know, just stop blabbering, get lost or some such thing. But then at some point, they both realize that we need a common ground where Hardy can understand what Ramanujan is speaking. And uh, so uh, uh, he agreed with the formal training to become a mathematician. And uh, Ramanujan realized the importance of formal writing. And Hardy realized that he has a genius in hand and he needs to be his mentor. 
and what a mentor he was proven to be. So Ramanujan wrote 30 research papers. I'm talking about the research papers. He has more than uh, you know close to 4,000 formulas and identities and all. But these are uh, you know published research papers, and some of them are jointly with Hardy. And it was a World War time when Ramanujan was there. England was also a party of that, and uh, there was crisis everywhere. And this person is working at Trinity College. Just imagine that he was a pure vegetarian. And uh, those days, it was not possible to get a vegetarian hotel or the vegetarian food in uh, in, uh, in in England. And uh, he was unable to eat this English food, despite all these hardships. There is this you know crisis outside. He's unable to eat, but his mathematics never stopped. He kept on producing path-breaking results there in uh, in 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 England, and he was elected as uh, the fellow of Royal Society and he was the first Indian to get it. But due to malnutrition, he fell seriously ill. And I told you that he regretted that Janaki he could have taken with him. So as now we understand, Janaki could have been helpful to him to prepare food, etc., which he was unable to do by himself. And this thing would not have happened, maybe. So he fell seriously ill and returned back to India. But in India, the, his, 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 his illness became severe. And he died one year after returning back in 1920 at the age of 32. But in the deathbed too, he continued producing mind-blowing mathematics. I'll talk about it a bit. He wrote only one letter to Hardy after returning back. And he explained the mathematics that he was doing. And he wished he desired to go back to London again, which was not to be fulfilled. So that was about a little bit of life of Ramanujan that I wanted to put in front of you to get a clear picture, the kind of atmosphere that he was there, acute poverty, malnutrition, the crisis of World War, and then at home his wife is there, but this person is going on producing path-breaking results there. Fell sick, comes back. So let's talk about a couple of uh, uh you know modern mathematics which was inspired by ramanujan's mathematics just a few the first one is wild conjectures no need to talk about the what is fields medal here in this uh, audience so pierre delin got fields medal in 1975 to prove these conjectures and these conjectures were motivated by ramanujan's some conjectures that i'll come there so basically this conjecture talks about uh, you know, some local zeta functions. They are being constructed by, through these abelian varieties, in particular elliptic curves, over finite field by looking into torsion points. You can construct a zeta function out of it. And while conjecture and well conjectures uh, that, you know, they have similar properties like the Riemann zeta function. And it has also a Riemann hypothesis, which was proven by Pierre Delin, and he got Fitz medal for that one. That was a part of Ramanujan's conjecture. And then this one is uh, in 1998, uh, Richard Borchardt, he got Fields Medal for this. It's called Monstrous Moonshine. Monster is a group and uh, it's one of, it's very really monster. It's one of those sporadic simple groups and uh, its order is approximately eight into 10 to the power 53. You can imagine how big it is. So the conjecture of uh, Conway and Norton was that, that Moonshine is a kind of modular function module modular function like J function, which Ramanujan was working also. And uh, the conjecture was that the symmetric group of this moonshine module is monster group. And that was proven by Borchers in 1998, string theory, conformal field theory, algebra, and uh, you know geometry all are together here in this particular proof of Borchers. And of course, the proof of Fermat's last theorem and Wise, 1999, was also, you know, a part which Ramanujan has played there. So while in deathbed, I told that he wrote to Hardy that he has invented some beautiful mathematics, which he called mock theta functions. This is in the deathbed, 1920. Today we are in 2022, about a century. And one of the very active and exciting research area, I can tell you to the students here in modern mathematics is this area. 
And they are called mock modular forms or mass forms. They were invented by him. I'll come to that one uh, a bit more after some time. So let me go into a couple of gems, which I told you that in the title, the first one I pick up is partition function and his work in partition function. So a partition is simply, you know, I give you a positive integer. It's the number of ways you can part it. You can write it as a sum of, uh, uh, you know, positive integers. The order is immaterial here. Like, for example, you take the number four. So P of four, P, think about it, a machine, you put a, uh, a positive integer there, it gives you the output as five because four can be written in this five different ways. Remember this P4 is five. And, uh, you know, if you go ahead, look at the 64. 64 is not a big number, but look at the number of ways you can partition 64. It's a huge number. It grows very fast, this function. The question which Ramanujan and Hardy asked, what about PN? Can you give an asymptotic formula, approximate formula for any n, for that matter of fact? And what they proved is a beautiful result that Pn is uh, asymptotic to 1 over 4 square root of 3 e power pi square root of 2n by 3. What does it that mean? That as you tend n to infinity, as big as you can, the ratio of Pn divided by that particular uh, number on the right hand side tends to 1 very fast. But what is more important about this result is they developed a new technique. The technique is called circle method. And that circle method technique is one of the most important technique in modern analytic number theory, in combinatorics, and some more areas, which is still one of the main tool, as I'm telling you, which was developed by Ramanujan and Hardy. So Ramanujan continued, you know, he was very much interested in studying these partition functions, which is also a very important area of research in the modern mathematics. And uh, he, you know, the congruence properties are one of the important properties that we study for a function is given to us, number theorists. And uh, he was also equally interested in studying the congruence properties. So uh, he proved, you know, uh, three most beautiful congruence properties in partition theory. And the first one, is that if you take numbers of this form, 5n plus 4, like if you take n equals to 0, this is p of 4. p of 4 is 5, as you saw. So 5 divides that one. The next number will be n equals to 1. So 5 plus 4 is 9. You can calculate p of 9, 5 will also divide that one. So uh, that means that if you look into this sequence of numbers, which are of this form 5n plus 4, if you apply this p function on that one, Whatever outcome, 5 will always divide that one. This is a prime, remember. The next question is, what about the next prime? 7, yeah. I mean, for 7 also, you could prove that if you take the numbers of the form 7n plus 5, here it's 4, here it is 5, the prime, the next prime here, and here also the numbers are, uh, if you look at, write down the numbers are like 5, 12, 19, etc., if you apply the p function on each of them, this infinite series, 7 will always divide that. What about the next prime? That is 11. And yes, I mean, this becomes 6 now. 11 and plus 6, look at the numbers of this form. 11 will always divide that one. Isn't it beautiful for us? Number theory is nothing more beautiful than this kind of congruence properties. And the more thing that he said that, you know, that's all. These are only for three primes that such beautiful property holds, not for 13. And that was also proven later. And that was a huge result that this kind of simple congruence property for the partition function holds only for 5, 7, and 11. The theory has grown like anything, and people go for prime powers, different kind of partitions, but everyone tries to see whether a property like Ramanujan partition function congruence property holds or not. So that is the first gem that I picked for you. And the second one is called quadratic forms. And uh, all of us know what is the quadratic form. It's something like this for expression, uh, polynomial, homogeneous polynomial like that. 4x square, you can change your coefficients. And uh, so this will be 1877. There is a typo there. Lagrange showed that this is the famous four square theorem that every positive integer can be expressed as a sum of 
four square numbers like that example. So Ramanujan was inspired by this particular result. He was trying to see what are the other kinds of quadratic forms that can also represent all the positive integers. Okay. So uh, in his classic paper in 1910, Ramanujan uh, gave 55 more examples of such quadratic forms. And here are some of the examples you can see. The first one is by Lagrange. You can see the four squares. And the second, from second to seventh was by Ramanujan. You can see d square is replaced by 2d square, some coefficient coming in, and uh, up to seven. They all represent positive integers, all positive integers. That was proven by him. What happens to eight? It doesn't represent all. In fact, it, it misses seven. Well, that was shown by Ramanujan. And that inspired the next big work in this area, which is called the 15 theorem. It was by Conway and Schenebarger. They were impressed by this result of Ramanujan. He, Conway has written that one. And uh, they, they showed that if you take uh, what is called a positive definite quadratic form, it represents all positive integers. If and only if it represents all positive integers up to only 15. So you have to check only up to 15. And uh, they dedicated that you think that you know they found what is called an escalator tree, combinatorics trick to avoid uh, you know this missing part, what is happening in Ramanujan's case, but that was inspired by Ramanujan's result. Of course, Manjul Bhargava has another result which was even more general than this one. So that was the work uh, uh, by Ramanujan that inspired the future work. And in fact, Ramanujan went on finding other quadratic forms like quaternary, positive, definite, diagonal. Don't bother too much about the definition. But these are different kinds of forms. And he wanted to know which are these types which will represent all the positive integers. He had one extra into his list, this particular one. And, and that actually misses 15. But this inspired this particular work inspired many works in the area you know very beautiful area elliptic curves and class numbers and etc which is the modern uh, mathematics that we do well this is the frontal view of ramanujan's house you can see that the window and uh, he used to sit near the window the road uh, the sarangapani sarani is just next to this house the temple will be somewhere here he will be sitting uh, near the window and looking at the people coming and going and behind the drum of the temple and he used to do his mathematics here it was dedicated as a national museum and uh, the then uh, president dr apj abdul kalam dedicated this one to the nation so the next gem that i pick up the third one is the most famous one is called ramanujan tau function and arguably the more deepest work that Ramanujan did it did here, it has profound impact on several parts of mathematics and in other sciences. What is tau function? Define the delta function, delta of z. Z, uh, you know, uh, is a, a, a complex number, and it is q into n product n equals to one to infinity one minus q to the power n to the power twenty four. Twenty four is important. Q is e to the power 2 pi i z. Z is equal to x plus i y in the upper half plane, where the imaginary part of the complex number is bigger than 0. So this is a function uh, which was studied by Ramanujan. And uh, I can give a full talk on this function. You know, it's a what is called a cusp form, modular forms. It has beautiful properties. I'll show a picture of this also. And uh, it's outside of the talk. Uh, to really give a motivation why Ramanujan was interested in this particular function. It suffices to say, say that he was still interested in finding out what are how many ways, you know, if you take this, it was square, but he was looking into other powers which will represent all the positive integers. Now, this delta function has a beautiful property. It's a periodic function with period one. So people who know here in the audience about some Fourier analysis, they can know they know that this function has a Fourier expansion, and this is the sum, the Fourier expansion, and the coefficients are called tau n. And this is the function that Ramanujan was interested. This goes by the name of Ramanujan. It's called Ramanujan tau function. 
So this tau function is a is this is this is a function that he studied and he predicted remarkable properties of this tau function by just doing hand calculations. You know, no computer was there. So he was, as you can see, that is a non-trivial function. It has this e to the power two pi i and z, so exponential. And then he used to calculate those things, and he predicted these three beautiful properties of the tau function: that it is a multiplicative function. That means, suppose I want to calculate tau of six. So six is three into two; they are co-prime to each other. So if I know the value of tau of three and tau of two, I know tau of six. So it has this beautiful multiplicative property, and if I want to find the value of the tau at prime powers, if I know the previous powers, I can get it. The second one, and the third one tells that how big this tau could be at the primes. It cannot go beyond two p to the power eleven over two. See, so this eleven comes from twenty-four. If you remember the delta function, twenty-four divided by two is twelve, and twelve minus one is eleven. So uh, this is what is called the Riemann hypothesis for function fields, and this is the thing that was uh, proven by Dalin uh, much later, and he got Fields Medal. The first two were proven by Model uh, not long after Ramanujan predicted these things. So just imagine of a function of a person who has papers and pen, goes on calculating the things and predicts this kind of results. Just by few calculation, you cannot predict this kind of properties of such a complicated function. So you need to have that person, the vision of that person, who can see that how these functions behave. And uh, this has shaped, as I told you, uh, a lot of modern mathematics. Uh, this particular uh, conjectures of Ramanujan, the whole theory came up: modular forms, automorphic forms, and you know these elliptic curves, the Fermat's last theorem, the Lin's Fields medal. So mostly these properties of the tau function that has uh, given a lot of impetus on this modern, uh, you know, uh, the mathematics that way the way it has gone. So just a conjecture for the students here, and you look at the values of the tau function. Very interesting. It is plus minus plus minus plus minus. It goes on alternating signs, and uh, the conjecture of Lehmer is that it is never zero. I mean, computer calculations, uh, you know, mathematicians are never uh, a believer of that. So we don't have a proof for this one, that tau never vanishes. Okay, so remember uh, this value of tau two. So this is a picture I was telling you about the delta function. It's uh, look at the beautiful symmetries that we have. It's, it's a cusp form, and uh, this symmetries, beautiful symmetries, which mathematicians are get, you know, fascinated by, and these functions. Are driving the modern era of mathematics. In the recent Fields Medal that you see, uh, at least fifty percent of people got working into this kind of areas. So Ramanujan did not stop there itself. I mean, he was, as you know, in the case of partition function, he was fascinated by the congruence properties. Whenever he found a function, he tried to study the congruence properties. And as you can see, this is a page from the Lost Notebook that he went on deriving these various congruence properties. That this tau function uh, satisfies. There is something called divisor function. So he was trying to relate this divisor function. Well, sigma 11L is simply you write down the divisors of n, each of them raise it to the power 11 and sum it. So it's called the 11th power of the summation, uh, sum of 11th power of the divisors of n. So he found a relationship between this tau function and this particular arithmetical function called sigma function. And this 11 comes from that 11, you know. Uh, you remember 11 over 2, and the 11 came from 24 divided by 2 minus 1. So these are, uh, you know, there is a big theory behind that one. And this particular congruence is very, very curious. 691 is a prime number. So 691 divides for any n tau n minus sigma 11 n. Tau n, the values you know there, sigma 11 is not difficult, like 2, if your n is 2, only 1 and 2 divides 2. So 1 to the power 11 plus 2 to the power 11. That's what is sigma 11, 2. And tau of 2 is minus 24. So you subtract them, 691 has to divide that. Yeah. So that's that's one of the, you know, the page that I'm putting in front of you. One of the line, if you look at very closely, it is this congruence that he is mentioning. This is one of the most, uh, you know, celebrated congruence of tau function that the world uh, celebrates. Okay, so I come to the last 
a problem which is I can't escape this taxi cab problem. And uh, all of us know that uh, you know uh, he was on the deathbed, and Hardy came to see him. And this is what Hardy is writing. I remember once going to see him when he was ill at Putney, is the place where he was admitted in the hospital. I had ridden a taxi cab number was the cab number was 1729 and he remarked that it's a very dull number you know he was not interested prompt came the reply from the deathbed that no it is a very interesting number why because it is the smallest number that can be expressible as a sum of two two different ways as sum of two cubes as you can see, 1729 is one way is 9 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 3. And the other way is 12 to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 3. Okay. So this, this particular story, you know, uh, is being put many places. I know that they try to say that he had mythical power, you know, almost like a god. So, uh, I mean, uh, he was a tremendous mathematician, extraordinary brain. You know, very, very hard working, but at the end of the day was a human being, no God. And that I want to emphasize in front of you in the next slide, that it is not that suddenly Ramanujan had this one in his deathbed. He worked on this one before. And Hardy actually knew about it, that Ramanujan had worked on that. And just to encourage him, just to see that still whether he remembers the mathematics that he has done while he was there, he tried to see and his memory as always was very very sharp and he immediately could answer that this is the uh, smallest number which can be written as a, a, a sum of two cubes in two different ways what was he studying while doing these things well he was in he was looking into the Fermat's last theorem Fermat's last theorem as all of you know it tells that take the equation x to the power n plus y to the power n equals to z to the power n take n strictly bigger than two n equals to 2, these are Pythagorean triples, you know, 3, 4, 5, 3 square plus 4 square, 5 square is a solution. Any multiple of that is a solution. And as you go beyond 2, there is no solution, integer solution. Well, you can't write, uh, you know, something like, uh, like, uh, like this one, 6q plus 8q is 9q. You can't write it. That will contradict uh, from us last theorem, which is a theorem now. So he wanted to see how much it misses. The near misses, he calls them, near misses to Fermat's last theorem. Like this one, you see 6q plus 8q is just one missing. If this is not there, then this is contradicting Fermat's last theorem. If this is not there, it is contradicting Fermat's last theorem that 135 to the power 3, 138 to the power 3 is 178 to the power 3, but not. Barely it misses by minus 1. So he is interested to characterize these numbers. As you can see in this picture, not very clear, but these are three rational functions. So he characterized this kind of numbers, which misses Fermat's last theorem by just one. He had this beautiful exposition that he did this rational function that quotient of two polynomials, the denominator cannot be zero, three functions. If that can be written as a series in terms of X or in terms of one over X, the same here, the same here, and if the coefficient satisfies certain properties, then those functions will be written like this. You can see these examples here. And you can see your 1729 here, 9q plus 10q is equal to 12q plus 1q. Well, this is equals to 1729. So he had already had worked out this particular example while studying this near misses to Fermat's last theorem. But kudos to him that even after such a long time, on the deathbed, still he remembers everything, and he could promptly answer that one. Yeah. So uh, this is this is how this taxi cab thing comes up. Come comes up. People have studied, goes on, and you know, a lot of studies are there in these kind of uh, works. And uh, this is a picture of Trinity College where he was working. And from his deathbed, Ramanujan wrote only one letter, and this is the letter. It is January 12, 1912, 20. After a few months, he died. Dear Hardy, I'm extremely sorry for not writing to you a single letter up to now. 
I discovered very interesting functions recently, which he calls mock theta functions. Mock means you know certain properties of theta functions you lose them, that becomes makes it more general. They enter into mathematics as beautifully as the ordinary theta functions. Now, these mock theta functions were a mystery till 2002. What are these functions? And then the PhD thesis of Swagers, it came up and he showed that Ramanujan has discovered what is called mass forms. So these days, this is called mass forms. And this is one of the important area that people are working, even in physics, many places in string theory, in, uh, in, 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 in black holes. And uh, these mock modular forms, or mock theta functions are living up to Ramanujan's expectations. One of the most active area of research in modern mathematics deals with these particular mass forms. And you look at that almost a century, you know, 1920, he wrote that letter. Today is 2022, and we're talking about mass forms. Now only it is picking up. And it was invented by Ramanujan on his deathbed the last few months. And, you know, there's a famous paper of Ken Ono. Uh, where he has related these mock theta functions to understand the black holes. Okay, so this is this is uh, how this future, uh, you know, some of the gems I put in front of you to show you how the modern mathematics has taken a cue from Ramanujan's inventions. And uh, this is a picture of Ramanujan with his colleagues at University of Cambridge. You can see in the middle, short figure. And uh, so this is this is the last slide for me that what we have gotten from Ramanujan. Yeah, the mathematical legacy that I was talking all through my lecture, his life also, you know, uh, it's in conjunction with the mathematics that he did. But we learned one more thing, which I want to quote Ken Ono again, directly from him. Don't read that. We have lots of teachers. We have Professor Krishna Kumar, Professor Vijay Kumar Ahmad has done a lot to really mentor young students. And there are other people. Talent can be found anywhere, even in the most unexpected and unforgiving places. To fulfill its potential, it must be located, recognized, and then properly mentored properly nurtured. So this is a legacy that Ram, uh, a Ramanujan has left for us. And I want to point out uh, one incident, uh, one such case, uh, Venki Ramakrishnan, uh, who was a chair of uh, 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 in a FRS and fellow of Royal Society. He was the chairperson and he did extremely badly in his uh, 12th exam. He was not getting an admission to anywhere in colleges in India. He went abroad, got admission somehow, and in five years' time, he won Nobel Prize. He's the uh, inventor of RNA, and he has dedicated, he has said that, you know, Ramanujan's life has motivated him, has kept him going to his dreams. So that way, Ramanujan has motivated his, through his life, through his mathematics, many, many people. So we have to really look for his legacy. This is also an important aspect that we have to look for talents and we have to nurture them. Thank you so much for your attention. Yes, uh, I think we have a chance for audience to interact. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Anything open. Uh, so uh, I think it is Aditya. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, plus, but please hold on. <laughs> First yeah, of all, sure. let me give a big thank you for uh, Kalyan Chakrabarti, sir. Um, the way he arranged everything is is incredible. The, each photo and each letter, each single piece of information, it was really organized in a beautiful way. And uh, I would like to mention my sincere apologies for any any kind of discomfort or inconvenience that caused uh, during the presentation, Kalyan sir. I'm really no, no, sorry absolutely about. Absolutely not, uh, Arjuna. It was really a pleasure. Uh, but anyway, we made it to the end in a very beautiful way. That's the best part. And I, I can see it is a very, very, very nice participation from everyone here. And uh, 
more than 100 more than 120 people are still here who are there, yes. so patient and really wanted to get that knowledge from kalyan sir and um, it is worth of it so uh, now i would like to have uh, some time for audience to have an interacting session is it if it is okay for kalyan sir to stay yes yes. yes so um it is the chance for you people to ask your questions and i would like to suggest that you can uh, turn on your video uh, so that it is a pleasant experience for all of us and please introduce you first and then you can ask your question to kalyan sir so audience this is your chance welcome everyone to the interacting session of our webinar sir sir myself aditya uh, when studying engineering btech from triple it dm college and yes. uh, the past two years i've been really interested in ramanujan's work and i've been working on it for quite a long time and uh, uh, like inspired by ramanujan i actually did my own independent research and i've gathered some research like right. it's fine for you i would like to share it with you personally to get your guidance and feedback yes so sure sure i mean you can find my email see i am really i let me tell you i'm really not an expert in ramanujan kind of mathematics i uh, i will try certainly to help you and uh, you know i know people so at least i can uh, you know associate you with the people who are really expert in ramanujan kind of work yes, sure, sure. Aditya, you yeah. can write to me that kind of help will be really uh, really helpful to me no so sure Aditya. Aditya. i mean i'm i'm, I'm there I, you will I find actually, my email. Just type Kalyan Chakravarti. You will find my email. Please share it to me. Share it with me. Like uh, actually, I aspire to do my ma masters in mathematics after this engineering is over. So, so I have I have planned to do my research in Ramanujan's mathematics in my PhD as well as in masters also. So that's the reason. Yeah, I mean, I will try. Let's not uh, talk about it here. This is a forum, as Ajuna said. That you know, let's have some. Uh, some questions and uh, we can discuss about that as you pointed out later aditya okay sir i can write it to you right sure 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 thank you sir. so somewhere you said that but some uh, of the, yeah i know yeah. Some is there yes please uh so, so uh, somewhere you said that in the delta function somehow uh, the 24 is important can you still why 24 is important somehow you said yeah because as i was telling you know for a general if you know modular forms when you were studying uh you know what Dalin has proved uh is uh, for any see, tau function is uh specific tau p comes up specifically for this delta function and actually it is k minus one by two so if you take for any other modular forms this a of uh, p uh will be bounded by like so, two so, times uh, yes. so for weight k you are saying it becomes k minus one by k two. minus one by two right so okay, it's okay, with 12 okay. that is that is weight 12 modular form that's form. okay i see i see yeah may i ask a question sir sure sir this is shorab choudhury i am from west bengal sir yes yes sir one request to you sir uh, write a good books in bengali sir to motivate the students from class 9 10 like this they are uh, very eager whenever i uh, taught them into the class they have asked me very various things from ramanujan uh, but it is the uh, much more difficult for uh, saying them in a very lucid language uh, for them to understand the mathematics of Ramanujan. Because of the class nine books that West Bengal government, which have, they have uh, written the uh, number of 1729, that taxi cab number. Whenever I talk to them, this is the taxi cab number. They ask me what is taxi cab set. It is much more difficult to uh, re realize them for this number. So I request you, sir, write a good book in Bengali mostly in Bengali, in lucid language for the students of class 9, 10 or 8, so, so on. It's a pleasure for us also, uh, for me also, uh, to hear you a good lecture from you. It's a daydream like, it's a dream for me to hear you. Thank yes, you. Sir. Sir, I mean, certainly I'll keep that one in mind. I hope I'll get some time uh, in near future to really uh, look into the request that you have put it. But, uh, you know, uh, I am there, you know, for lecturing, for talking about these small things, which I know about Ramans and very basic things at any place. I'll keep in mind, Saurav. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you are welcome.
Hello, sir. Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, sir. I'm Shikha, uh, a second year mathematics student of B Birla Institute of Technology, Meshra. So I wanted to know how your life got motivated from Ramanujan's life. Yeah, I mean that, uh, you know, I have to give an honest answer that I actually, as you as uh, Saurabh was talking in West Bengal, at that time, there were no number theory, uh, you know, uh, where I have studied. Uh, there was no course in number theory. Even now, I doubt how many universities in West Bengal, unlike in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, there are many universities where in Tamil Nadu, they have a number theory course, but I did not have uh, one. So when I came to Chennai, I MSc for doing my PhD. Then I was first time introduced uh, in number theory and in fact, uh, learned more about Ramanujan, the work. So from then onwards, you know, uh, I, I saw the beauty in, uh, in in these number theoretic questions. I could have asked, like I just gave a talk before this to Nehru Center in Mumbai. There was a class six standard student and he asked some beautiful questions, you know, about this year thing. And I told him that, you know, these days you were privileged like Professor you know, Dr. Vinod is taking this initiative to get these kind of expositions at very early. I did not have that opportunity or we did not have. So this interest in number theory came up only after I joined uh, MSc for PhD, where I could meet some people. Professor Bala Subramaniam is one of them. And, uh, you know, I got to know about Ramanujan at that time only, visited Kumbakonam a couple of times and really got motivated in that way that, uh, you know, uh, playing with numbers. I mean, I, I'm not an expert in playing in numbers, but, uh, you know, these questions like what uh, Shomodip was asking, the modular forms, elliptic curves and all, these are the areas that I got interested. But, you know, certainly a lot of influence of Ramanujan is there. In that. It was wonderful, sir. Yeah. And the session you took was really great, sir. Thanks. Thanks, Shikha. I mean, it's a lot of uh, motivation for me. And all thanks to, you know, uh, Dr. Binod for this, you know, mass aspirants, the group members, uh, they do in, do uh, you know have this kind of uh, sessions, and that benefits a lot of people. Yes. May I ask a question, sir? Sure. Sir, myself Tapan Kumar from BNIT Nagpur. Yes, Tapan. Sir, what type of research, ongoing research, are happening at Ramanujan Mathematics regarding Ramanujan Mathematics? Yeah, I told a couple of them and, uh, you know, uh, is the future mathematics that is shaping up. Uh, I told you there's this uh, mock theta functions or what are called mass forms, mass wave forms. So they are a very important area. I know many people are working in these mock theta functions and they have, I, as I pointed out that, you know, in black hole theory in physics also, there is a connection. There are these areas like in elliptic curves and in automorphic forms, there are lots of inspiration come from Ramanujan. But there are other groups, you know, who are exactly working, uh, you know, without going deep, deep into what motivation was for Ramanujan is there. Uh, just going on along with the kind of results that Ramanujan has proved. There are many groups in India working on that one. That is also another yeah, partition function I told you. There's lots of people working in partition functions. It's connection with modular forms and, you know, uh, these class numbers and other things. So there's a lot of research going on uh, in and around Ramanujan's kind of thing. Now, it depends on you, your background, the kind of background that you have. You can go into directly this kind of elementary number theory if you take it Ramanujan in that way. Or if you have knowledge in arithmetic, some kind of, you know, this kind of uh, in automorphic forms and all, you can go into uh, very higher levels like in the, uh, you know, in that level. Like, you know, I can tell you uh, one person whom I uh, appreciate very much from Indian Institute of Science, Mahesh Kakkar, who got uh, Infosys award this time in mathematics. He, he, he works in a very, very deep area and which was also motivated by some works of Kapanujan. So there's lots of work going on. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. I'm Gavri. Uh, I have done my graduation from Miranda House College, Delhi. Of course, the session was really great, sir. And we go to know more about the uh, legend Srinivasa Ramanujan. And I'm really happy that I got a chance to visit Ramanujan's house in Kumbagonam. And uh, as you said, that old tiny house is now an international monument. And, uh, and yeah, uh, that I'm really uh, happy 
about it and it was highly inspirational and which leads me to know more about the life and works of the great mathematical genius and thank you sir thank you for the session yeah great gayatri i'm so happy that you know this uh, one hour one and a half hour session you have got something out of it i i am really happy yes sir it was great thanks thanks a lot i think it's almost over uh, the interactive session was fruitful and uh, i have read sir's profile and it is mentioned in there that he is very passionate to help young people uh, young people who are pursuing mathematics so we are really we are really in a lucky chamber <laughs> so um it was it was a delightful experience here um so before winding up is there are there anyone who is willing to take part in the interactive session or with your permission kalyan sir shall yeah we... yeah i'm sure i'm i'm here for another at least another 5 minutes after that my dinner will be finished so i have to go and eat something and uh, so i'm sure yes and i like to add one thing that many people were trying to join the meeting later but since we had an issue about the muting and the presentation we were unable to uh, make them join so um everyone please please take care about the netiquette because it's a really sensitive issue when just coming to like this kind of online things uh, so we hope there will not be any kind of interrupting problems um in the future it's just a thing i like to mention otherwise everything was okay and um now i would like to welcome ms kajal sesadeva research fellow md university rohtak haryana uh, for giving us the vote of thanks greetings to all on the occasion of national mathematics day i am delighted and grateful to be the part of the organizing team and get opportunity to express thankfulness on this webinar first of all many thanks to krishan kumar sir for quick introduction of the resource person today professor kalyan chakrabarti gave a highly motivating talk about the remarkable life journey of the great mathematician shrinivas ramanujan we are incredibly fortunate to have his knowledge and ideas today all i knew about ramanujan was that he was a genius indian mathematician and a fellow of the royal society however after hearing what you said sir we realized that he was much more than that and truly beyond any boundaries you described his life experience and contribution to mathematics incredibly very well you told us about ramanujan college his notebooks marries and the meet between hardy and him uh, like i was watching some movie and uh, the session was very very interactive and uh, it's a highly inspiring and motivating section uh, you also told us about uh, his work like partition function quadratic form tau function taxi cab problem that uh, definitely motivate motivate me to do some more and more problems and playing with numbers it's just a very interesting so a truly excellent speech that was very very inspiring and motivating thank you thank you so much sir on behalf of each participants for sharing a couple of jams from the vivid ramanujan garden also thanks to our special guest vijay kumar sir for being with us additionally i would want to thank the entire organizing committee dr vinod kumar sir associate professor of mathematics tm government college trur kerala deserve much credit for initiating this webinar series and sharing information all over the world it's a very big honor to work with him further gratitude is extended to dr biju mon associate professor of mathematics mg college erat kerala for providing continuous technical support throughout the session I also want to express my gratitude to Ms Jeros Johnson research fellow IIT Madras Ms Anar Matoni research fellow CU Sat Kerala and Ms Unnati Shukla Amtech student IIT Dhanabad for their superb coordination throughout the webinar 
Also, a big thanks to Ajuna for such a great welcome and for hosting this webinar very interactively, lively, and handling very superbly. Last but not the least, a hearty thanks to all the participants who contributing to this webinar's engagement and interaction. Thank you, thank you each of you for contributing to this event. A great success. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So this is the time to say goodbye, Ajuna and uh, Kajal and uh, Jia and all other people. You know, I can could see a lot of my students are also here. We're here, and it was nice meeting, sir. You know, sir, if you can hear me, and of course, uh, you know, Ajuna was is very good. As I was telling her that, uh, you know, her uh, her speaking ability and uh, you know, as an anchor other things so it was really nice experience i really enjoyed this couple of hours there were some blips but still it was fine at the end uh, and uh, i hope and i wish all the best to, to you sir for your uh, you know uh, your your journey and i'm sure this is going to grow and grow further thanks a lot